these corners, he carries a lot of speed, and he loses a little coming off, but not equal to what he gained going in. It makes it difficult to pass sometimes. Big crash in tournament, Vassar and Moore. Well, one of the players' cars. Oh, that Carpentier. would be Carpentier. Because Jimmy and uh, Patrick Carpentier were running 14th and 15th. Now, of course, this will take away the advantage for from Dario Franchitti. Everybody will bunch up. This is on lap 11. Jimmy Vassar, second in the championship coming in. This could be the end of that for him, and here's another look. Now, Patrick Carpentier just makes a way too aggressive move there. No way Jimmy could see him, or if he saw him, even think that he was there. He saw some of the spectators and photographers. See that hole in the fence just beyond the tires? That is a hole for the photographers, the still photographers, to shoot through, and one of them took a tumble. Wow. You saw how close Patrick Patrick's left rear wheel came to Jimmy uh, Vassar in the cockpit. That was a, um, that was more than optimistic. That was not a very good spot to do that. That's a tricky enough corner. He's not even close enough there. Dives in, almost gets alongside, but after they've turned into the corner, there was just no way he was going to make that corner or that Jimmy was going to give up that position. That photographer, the good news there, I don't know, we don't have a great shot, but it looks like he sat back up after he got knocked kind of just onto his tail, probably stunned as much of anything. Watch here, he's going in. He's all the way down over the curb as well, Patrick, right there. Now, that's one of those things I'm sure Patrick will argue, well, when the contact occurred, they were almost wheel to wheel, but at the point, at that point, he's carrying way, way too much speed to turn. Uh, I mean, that's what these, these courses breed. He Probably a little bit quicker, but you get frustrated. You have to try a desperation move. They're under a full course caution. Here's Gary Gerald. Jimmy Vassar just getting out of the car. Jimmy, can you tell us what happened? I don't think I can, Gary. I, I saw uh, Carpentier come flying over the top. Uh, here's a replay right here. He's watching a big screen down here near pit exit along with the fans. Yeah, I... Oh, he got flying right up over the nose of you there. Yeah, I uh, you know, I was uh, executing my corner, turned in, and he uh, he came flying up the inside. Maybe a little, little, uh, little too aggressive that early in the race. One of those things is bad for both of us. All right, no thanks, point. Jimmy. And Carpentier also walking along here, coming in our direction. We might be able to uh, get a word with him as he sets down here on the pit wall. Here's Patrick now. Appears to be okay. They're summoning. Uh, some workers over here to make sure that he's all right. Patrick, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, shaken down a little bit, uh, but I didn't lose, lose uh, consciousness, so it's okay. What what happened now? You came in there awful hot. We saw on a replay the car way up in the air. Yeah, uh, I was stupid, you know. I, uh, Jimmy made a mistake at the exit of the corner there, and I got in a little bit too hot, and I tried to go to the inside, and uh, there was no room. There was a mistake on my behalf. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. I think you could hear him there through the helmet, somewhat distorted, saying it, uh, it was a stupid move. A stupid move on his part, and uh, very classy there to accept the blame. He just tried to make something happen, and unfortunately uh, uh, took both of them out of the race. And as you heard Jimmy right at the end, he says, really bad for both of us, no points. Huge, huge championship implications, because Jimmy Vassar was the guy closest to Here in Canada, you cannot overestimate. These crowd, these fans are so passionate about what they do, the drivers work themselves up, put huge pressure on themselves. Let's, lo let's look at this. See, Patrick is not close enough. Jimmy has already started his turn. Patrick is still trying to make it. As they close down, he gets a little bit closer. But look over here. He's already up over the curb, the curbing right in this area, right there. He hits Jimmy's tire, his rear and his front, gets the car up. Lucky he didn't go over it. Now watch this. He comes over Jimmy's right front, destroys that. When they go in and hit the wall, look back in this area back there. The photographers, and look how much it moved that wall back and absorbed the energy in there. Unbelievable. This guy went down on the ground from the impact coming back. I hope everything's okay there. I'm not so sure how much he stepped back too fast or actually got some of the uh, impact. And those barriers weigh, I believe, 2,500 pounds each. Those tires did a lot to dissipate a lot of the energy, but uh, that's one of the things. Jimmy, the first he knew that anything was coming was when Patrick hits him and is flying up over his car. Well, you heard his comment. He never even saw it until Patrick was flying over, the, over his right side of his car.